Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Parasites are organisms that live in and feed off a living host. In other words, incredibly nasty creatures. There are a variety of parasitic worms that can take up residence in humans. Keep watching to learn about 10 scary parasites you may have. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon. 10. Human Botfly The human botfly can be found in the tropical regions of Central and South America and the Caribbean, and is one of the few flies that can cause myosis, which is a tissue infection by a maggot. Adult botflies attack blood-feeding insects such as mosquitoes or ticks and lay eggs on their bodies in which the larvae grow. When the mosquito bites for its regular dose of blood, the larvae hatch and penetrate the tissue. Larvae feed on tissue just underneath the skin for up to 10 weeks and breathe through an air hole in the host's skin. If they're not treated, the larvae mature and explode, dropping to the ground where they ferment for about a month. Signs of infection include boil-like swellings where the person has been bitten. Larvae also sometimes move inside the lesion, which can be felt, but fear not, as treatment is available. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. 9. Filario Worm Filario worms are tiny roundworms that live in lymphatic and subcutaneous tissue, just below the skin. Several species can cause lymphatic filariasis, a disease seen in many parts of the world. In this, microscopic larvae called microfilaria circulate in the blood. These are sucked up by feeding mosquitoes and after further development can transfer to another person when the mosquito feeds again. These parasites travel from the skin to the lymphatic system and develop into adults that can live for over five years. After mating, millions of them are released back into the blood. Adult worms living in lymphatic vessels and nodes can cause damage resulting in fluid retention and swelling. Most infected people don't show symptoms, but some develop significant swelling, usually in the legs, after repeated exposure. Secondary skin infections that cause skin thickening and hardening are common. Drugs are available, but to reverse any damage requires surgery. 8. Giardia Giardia duodenalis is one of the most common protozoan parasites of humans and mammals. A person is usually infected by ingesting the cyst stage of the parasite from water or food contaminated with infected feces. Direct person-to-person -person spread can also occur from poor hygiene. Once inside the body, the microscopic cysts develop into feeding stages which multiply and colonize the small intestine. After passing through the intestines, they form new cysts that are shed in feces ready to infect new hosts. Some infected people go on to develop giardiasis, which is an intestinal illness that can be recognized by its symptoms which are profuse pale diarrhea, abdominal cramps, flatulence, fatigue, and weight loss. Giardiasis is found worldwide and majority of cases are among travelers that go to areas where it's common, children in daycare, or in people who drink untreated water. 7. Plasmodium falciparum Malaria kills millions of people around the world every year. There are different types of this mosquito-borne disease, which are caused by four different parasites known as Plasmodium farciparum, Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, and Plasmodium malaria. If you did not already know, the parasites start in the mosquitoes and are transferred to humans once the person has been bitten by an infected mosquito. Malaria can also be spread through organ transplants, blood transfusions, and the sharing of contaminated needles. The parasite has a lengthy incubation period, taking anywhere from 7 to 30 days before the initial symptoms begin to show. Those infected by malaria may go through fever, chills, headache, nausea, vomiting, and severe sweating, which go down after 6 to 10 hours. However, in more severe cases, the parasite attacks the body's vital organs, causing severe anemia, loss of consciousness, seizures, coma, and neurological abnormalities. Certain versions of the parasite can even attack the brain directly and are usually fatal. 6. Negleria fowleri Once you hear about this, we guarantee you'll think twice before jumping into a lake. 
This parasite usually lives in warm freshwater bodies such as lakes and rivers. The Negleria fowleri, or brain-eating amoeba, is an incredibly rare but equally scary parasite. The parasite lives in warm bodies of fresh water, such as lakes, where it feeds on the bacteria in the sediment. When the sediment is disrupted, the amoeba can get stirred into the water. Swimmers are infected when they accidentally inhale the parasite through their nose. Once inside the body, the amoeba moves from the olfactory nerves to the brain. As the brain does not contain any bacteria for the amoeba to eat, the organism instead attacks the brain cells for nutrients. There is no treatment, but the infection is usually always fatal. However, as it is extremely rare, only 140 cases have been reported in the U.S. in the past 50 years. 5. Draconculus People that get infected by this parasite, which is also known as the guinea worm, are in for a very unpleasant ride. People tend to get this parasite after drinking contaminated water that contains infected water fleas. Once a person has been infected, the dragon worm grows by feeding off your body until at last, a spaghetti-like worm pokes itself out of the skin. This worm can grow to be very long, reaching up to a meter in length. Those infected by the parasite will find the worm coming out of their hands or feet and experience symptoms of extreme pain and burning sensations. Unfortunately, there's no treatment for this parasite, but it can be removed from the body once it emerges by slowly wrapping it around a stick over a period of weeks. Four. Toxoplasma gondii The Toxoplasma gondii is also menacingly known as the brainwashing parasite and has been known to infect rodents in a very strange manner. This parasite causes mice to lose their sensitivity to cat urine and to stop avoiding areas with cats. This ultimately leads to a cat eating the infected rodent. The parasite then reproduces within the cat and is passed out in its feces and so makes its way to its next rodent host. Toxoplasma is one of the most common human parasites in developed countries, infecting around 30 to 50 percent of the global population. In humans, the parasite usually shows no symptoms or very mild flu-like symptoms, but it can cause a very serious illness, toxoplasmosis, to those with incredibly weak immune systems. Toxoplasma may also cause certain people to slightly change their mood, behavior, and even their reaction times. But at least humans won't be eaten by cats. That's got to be a plus, right? Hookworms It's been estimated that more than an average of 600 million people around the world are infected by hookworms each year. They're responsible for 62,000 deaths every year. Hookworms live in the small intestines of humans and are excreted through feces. These parasites thrive in warmer and moist climates and in areas with a lack of sanitation. The most common ways the disease gets transmitted is by walking on the ground barefoot, since hookworms get into the body by hooking onto the skin and then burrowing into the body and making their way into the small intestine. Infections are seldom fatal and usually display symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, laziness, loss of appetite, anemia, and skin infection. The infection can be easily treated with medication. But infections among children can be quite dangerous as the parasitic infection can lead to issues with cognitive and physical development. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on future videos. 2. Pinworms Pinworms or threadworms are one of the most common parasitic infections, especially in North America and Oceania. Its name comes from its thin white appearance. They tend to affect the digestive tract. Threadworms usually spread through the fecal-oral route, with children being the most susceptible to the disease. So what sort of problems can these parasites cause? Those infected by pinworms can display a range of symptoms such as severe itching around the anal and rectum, abdominal pain, irritability, nausea, and weight loss, and they can even have difficulties while relieving themselves. The good news is that the parasite is relatively easy to identify and can be treated with the help of a doctor. However, the trauma caused by looking at it is another story. 1. Tapeworms Tapeworms are one of the most well-known parasites on this list. These segmented worms usually live in the intestinal tract of animals and livestock and is spread when contaminated water is drank. 
They then spread to humans via the consumption of raw or undercooked meat of infected animals. These parasites grow by attaching themselves to the host's intestinal tract, where they absorb the nutrients they need. If it's not treated, they can grow to freakishly long lengths, sometimes even as long as around 50 feet. However, they can easily be treated by a prescription pill. The worm can cause diarrhea, pain, and weight loss. If not treated, they can eventually block intestinal ducts, resulting in seizures, muscle, and even eye damage. Tapeworms can also enter other parts of your body, damaging the heart, liver, and brain. And that concludes our list of the 10 scary parasites you may have. Let us know in the comments section below which parasite freaked you out the most. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon.